Thing I Zippo. Um, you guys are looking at part of my Maglite collection. The rest of them are out in my vehicles and out in uh, out in my shop. Um, but I wanted to give you guys uh, a little bit of information about them. Uh, 1979 was the introduction of Maglite instruments. Um, uh, Maglite, the company itself, Mag Instruments, uh, was uh, founded in 1955, um, and uh, it was by Give me just a minute here. Tony Maglica, M A G L I C A. Um, he, uh, I guess, saved up some money back in uh, the early days to put a down payment on a lathe and started making, uh, started making stuff out of his own shop. But anyway, that's just a quick little bit of history. The five and six C cells right here that's a 5C cell are no longer being made by Maglite instruments so if you have one or if you find one if you see one at a retail shop um, pick it up because you may think it's crazy but uh, there's a lot of people out there that collect these mag flashlights and believe it or not they have reached the vintage mark they're got a few years to go before they'll be antiques but they have hit the vintage mark I purchased this one in 1984 that's 26 years ago um, almost 27 years ago that puts it definitely in the realm of being a vintage item um, so I've seen a couple of new 6C cells go on eBay and do well over a hundred dollars for the lights so there are people out there collecting them uh, what you got next to it and oh, by the way we're using the Kershaw OD one for our pointer here today um, here and here are two 3D cell flashlights one has an LED the other has a standard bulb Krypton bulb uh, that's just some diamond plate tape that I put on the end of it just because I could next to it is a 2D cell LED uh, from the factory not where I've bought a night eyes uh, this one's got a night eyes LED and this one's got a night eyes LED not nearly as as good a quality as the LED that comes in an LED mag flashlight uh, let's see then next to it you've got a 2C cell then down here we've got the solitaires and this is a triple A double two triple A mini mag um, and uh, I think I'm, I keep forgetting the name of the company that makes the uh, uh, replacement kit the conversion kit to go to L L LED uh, Terralux Terralux has uh, replacement LED uh, kits that you can use on the triple A or on the double A's. Um, another little bit of history the most popular flashlight in the world is the Maglite double A mini mag. Just a little bit of history there on those. Um, there is an LED upgrade that you can do yourself if you go to YouTube and just put in uh, Maglite Solitaire LED hack something to that effect it'll show you what uh, you need to do as far as uh, converting your solitaires over to an LED pretty easy to do um, at any rate uh, this one right here has a night eyes tail cap on it it's a clicky tail cap uh, I'm gonna go ahead and whoop, smack myself in the face Go ahead and pull it out and show you guys uh, what exactly it does. Um, it's just your standard. You remove the cap, and I've had the uh, LED night eyes clicky cap. <clears throat> excuse me on it uh, for uh, close to two years now, but. Um, As you can see, it adds a little bit of length to it, not much. It still fits in the sheath just fine. 
Okay, comes up just about flush with the sheath where you can see here. Well, you can't really see it, but the flashlight's a little bit deeper in the pocket. Uh, but at any rate, this is a later model. And the way to tell an early model from a late model, it's got the ram on the front of it, or around the bezel. So, you, know, you look here, you've got, just says uh, Maglite, manufactured by Mag Instrument, Ontario, California, USA. Okay. Um, and also, uh, all of the larger flashlights have uh, wrong side. They are serialized, so you can see the serial number there. You can go to um, the Maglite website and register your uh, Maglite, which is kind of cool. Anyway, I'm getting off the beaten path here. Um, if you look, you can see this scribe that I've got right here. That's so that I always use mine uh, at the focus beam point uh, to where it's got the tightest focus. I don't use flood very often. Um, so I put it there and then when I'm ready to use it I just hit the clicky. Let me see you've got on and 100 power. You see the light back there letting you know that everything's on and everything's working. Okay. You click it and this one has uh, I think it's four modes and all the all the electronics are just in the tail cap so let's go through them real quick I have to stall for one of them uh, just because of how long it takes to blink in one of the flash modes but you've got high power low power well I didn't do it quick enough okay high power low power lower power and there's your slow flash it's got five settings I guess and then quick flash And uh, even when you've got the flashlight off, the tail cap will continue to flash, letting you know that it's in standby and it's ready to go. And because it, a considerable amount of time goes between times that I use this, uh, I always shut it down so that it turns the LED off. And then I open it back up so it's ready to use. But anyway, that's uh, the most popular of the mag lights is the double A. Now mag lighters started coming out with their own LEDs as I said the two D, double D, uh, the two D cell is an LED. These two top ones are also LEDs. One of them is the older version which just has a single power. This happens to be the three triple A. This is the two triple A. Um, the two triple A I just recently got and here's a package for it here and so it shows you right up here new multi-mode uh, electronic switch 100% power 25% power blink mode and SOS uh, new uh, performance enhanced LED focusing LED beam uh, it comes with the belt holster obviously um, and uh, I've been biding my time and just buying cheap LEDs waiting for Maglite to come out with a smart LED and um, some of the other uh, flashlights that I have uh, just so you guys don't think I'm just purely Maglite <coughs> we've got, uh, I'm sure a lot of people have seen uh, the Coast brand I don't know if it's going to show up yeah it might Coast LED lenser okay and this one I actually use as a bore site because it's small enough I can stick it up in the bore use that as a bore site so you got that one then uh, we've got another coast light and this one uses a little, they both use little button cells but yeah, that one it's pretty small and believe it or not I paid like 15 bucks for this which after I got it I was happy with the price that I paid but um, it just it's just kind of neat. It's real small, nice and compact. It's got a real nice uh, convex uh, glass lens, so it resists scratching. And Coast makes some pretty good knives, or excuse me, uh, some pretty good flashlights. Then uh, for a little while, Brinkman, you guys, uh, I'm sure have heard of Brinkman flashlights. Uh, they stole uh, Minimag's design 
and this is actually a Brinkman as you can see other than it having the pass through lanyard hole in the back instead of it being uh, just on the tip like that compare the differences there you can see so anyway um, Brinkman and these were not out for long because it was a copyright infringement on the similarity of the of the flashlight uh, works just like the maglite only it's not as reliable as you can see you turn it on and it flashes and flutters but right now it's on if I shake it so another reason not to buy the off brands I guess takes care of the Brinkman um, another LED that I got which I thought was super sweet for the price was a uh, Rayovac Sportsman Extreme uh, 100 lumens with a 2 watt light runtime of 6 hours it's a single lighting it's a single light it has a focusing beam head on it I think I paid nine dollars and some change for it at Menards but there it is you can see it there and you can also well you're supposed to be it says what does the package say here easy focus spot to flood well it's supposed to turn but for whatever reason it's uh, not turning for me so nope can't get it to turn. Anyway, it's a, a very bright light and it's your best bang for your buck in my opinion. Um, if you're just going after you know, a, a cheapy clicky that's just got a single mode. An awesome light, awesome light for the price. Then uh, ITP which uh, I believe also makes the Maritac um, I'll keep quiet about Countycom till another video. If you're going to order something from Countycom, make sure it's a big order because their shipping is just ridiculous. And they refuse to go USPS for whatever reason. But anyway, uh, this is a A2, or is it A2, what is it, A3 EOS? It's kind of hard to read. I think it's an A3 EOS. And this is the upgraded version. It's instinct polished stainless steel and it has three different light settings high, low, and super high. See, that's a single AA battery and it's really throwing the light out. That was a $29 flashlight. Then his big brother, the A1 EOS, used. Whoop. Sorry about that. Dropped it. Uses the CR123 uh, lithium photo battery and uh, it has low, medium, and high, and uh, it's pretty stout too. Now, the reason that I'm doing the video is uh, I've got something to show you that Maglite has taken diligent time, effort, and energy. Um, I'm really glad that they spent the time that they did and didn't jump on the bandwagon really quick as far as having... Uh, uh, a formidable LED light put out um, before all these other guys got on the bandwagon with all the different features and different functions the flashlights have and uh, the flashlight is the Maglite LED XL100 it measures just about an inch across the top the length is four and three quarters inches and the tail cap if you look has a number of different options this flashlight has an accelerometer in it that would be the same thing that you would find in a cell phone or in, in, in an iPhone is an accelerometer so it lets you um, it, it, it reads and registers what you're doing just by uh, turning the light so I'm going to turn the light on I hold the button then I can turn it it turns it down and turn it down and if I let go and shut it off and turn it back on it's still on that same low setting oh look at that that's cool I wonder what it's causing it I got gremlins in here 
Hope that shows up on the video because that's pretty sweet. Do, 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 do. I don't know what those little guys are. Oh, look. That's sweet. Alright, I'm done playing. Um, you can hold it. You have to push and hold the tail cap. There, we're on strobe. Now you can speed up and slow down the strobe also. Uh, you've got the night function. Turn it on. A little flash. Now, if it keeps it perfectly still, it'll fade and shut out. And just move it a little bit and right back on again. So you, if you're doing something and you don't want to be messing with the clicky button, you can literally set it down and it will extinguish itself. Until... something causes it to move. Just kind of neat. Um, I'm kind of spoiling myself here with uh, being able to make videos over 15 minutes now. But uh, look it up on the Maglite website. You'll see uh, all the different options that it has. And you can also go through YouTube. YouTube has got uh, a number of videos up on it as well. But this is Zippo. I just want to tell you guys, Maglite waited. And I'm glad they did because they made one hell of a nifty flashlight. I know I'm going to run the batteries out of this inside of a couple days just playing with it with all of its different operations and functions. So anyway, this is Zippo. My health is doing good. I'm feeling better. Uh, you guys probably tell from my voice. I'm kind of getting my voice back. Um, I guess that's about it. Y'all take it easy and have a happy new year. And this is Zippo. Later. I'm out.